Welcome to giving a tour. This simple technique will help you organize tours that will be simple and effective. Although it's focused on giving tours around a building or exhibit, the same principles work for poster presentations and simple demonstrations, like at a conference or science fair. To start off, imagine yourself on a baseball field. Each of the bases represents a critical point, a piece of information that is vital to your message. They're all important, and they'll provide a different view of the field. Home plate is where you start. Introduce yourself and what you're presenting on. Give some basic information about the exhibit and your message. Ask basic questions, and most importantly, tell your audience where you're going with it. Running the bases will take the bulk of your tour. Just like in baseball, you can't skip a base, so make sure you touch on every point you need to. Transitions should be smooth and make sense. You can spend as much time on a base as you need to, but going back and forth between topics can be confusing to you and your audience, so try not to dance around too much. The clock is your third base coach. Check in when you touch third base and you'll know if you have time to spare and you can spend more time on that topic, or if you need to sprint to the finish. Always pay attention to your audience. Are they engaged and cheering for more, or a little less enthusiastic? If they're falling asleep, it's probably time to move on. When it's time to finish, bring it home. Read it, your central message, and then end your tour. Welcome to Brigham Young Memorial Park. This place was dedicated as a memorial park in 1974 as a place for visitors to come and reflect on the courage and determination of Brigham Young and the early saints. Right at the entrance of the park is a sculpture by Edward J. Fraun, memorializing the 6,000 pioneers who lost their lives on the way to the top. On either side of the park are monuments dedicated to two of the most cherished hymns for these pioneers, O My Father and Come Come Ye Saints. These hymns highlighted the courage and faith that these pioneers had as they faced life and death on their journey to Utah. At the back of the gardens is the grave site of Brigham Young, the second president of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. He was responsible for bringing the saints out west and led them courageously with a lot of faith. His example meant a lot to a lot of people and he was beloved by all he knew. Also buried here is Eliza R. Snow and other members of the Young family. They exemplified the pioneer spirit by showing faith and courage in the face of trials and tragedies. We can have this spirit in our own lives as we face our own trials and tragedies and remember and honor these pioneers with the way we live. On the Great Bambino! What? what? On the Great Bambino! Oh. It's more what? No, 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 you want a s'more. I haven't had anything yet, so how can I have some more of nothing? Shut up! You're killing me, Smalls. Oh, yeah, the Great Bambino. Of course. I thought you said the Great Bambi. That wimpy deer? What? The Sultan of Swat! The King of Crash! The Colossus of Clout! The Colossus of Clout! Babe, Babe Ruth! Ruth!